Hey you guys, it's Star. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. I know it has been a little bit since I have made a video, but I just got back from vacation yesterday. I've been on a cruise and I am so well rested and so rejuvenated and glad to be back. So when I came back yesterday, I actually went after taking a nap. I went to Walgreens and CVS and did a couple transactions. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up because there were some pretty decent deals. Um, I feel like I came out pretty good on all of this stuff at Walgreens and CVS. So I just wanted to share what I picked up. So let's start over here with my Walgreens haul. So starting with Walgreens, I actually didn't plan on going to Walgreens um, over the weekend, but then I saw that they gave me a 30% off a $40 purchase coupon. And I was like, okay, I can make this work. And I saw some people post on Instagram that the 30% off was actually coming off of sale and clearance prices as well. Normally those percent off coupons at Walgreens will not apply to clearance and sale prices this time that they are. And it seems like they're testing out different versions of this coupon. Some people are getting like a $12 off of 40, which is pretty much almost the same thing. Some people are getting the percentage off. So check your account to see what version you got, but it is applying to sale and clearance prices, which is awesome because you're already coming in with a 30% savings out of the gate. You just need to get your pre-coupon total at $40. So that is what I did. So I did a few different deals here. I also worked in some I bought a rebate so I could get some cash back as well. Um, so I'll tell you about those, but let's start off deal by deal. Deal number one, I did the Colgate Enamel House. So these were um, in store for $4.99, which is pretty pricey, but we also got a $5 off of three digital coupon and then also a printable from coupons.com on Colgate products. So they were $4.99 and then you're getting back 3,000 points on each one. I wanted to do all of the enamel health only, but I had to throw in a sensitive as well. And the reason I wanted to get three of them, of course, is because I wanted to use that five off of three coupon. I used um, a digital version of that five off of three coupon from the Walgreens app because I want to hold on to my printed um, coupons that I'm sure will come in handy later. So I did three of them. I did two of the Enamel Health and the Sensitive. They were $4.99. Now the 30% um, off coupon took off $1.50 off each one of them, which made them about $3.50. And then I also used that $5 off of three coupon. So with that 30% off and that five off of three, you end up paying $5.47 for all three boxes out of pocket. Now it becomes an awesome money maker again because you're paying $5.47 out of pocket, but then you are getting back 9,000 points, which already makes it over a $4 money maker. But to amplify that just a little bit, you're also getting back cash back from Ibotta. So I got back $1.50, 75 cents each on the Enamel Health, and then I got back 50 cents for the um, Colgate sensitive and I have already redeemed me so it works perfectly so I had a four dollar money maker already in points amplified that money maker getting the cash back from Ibotta so these are just an all-around money maker deal the next deal I did um, was another Ibotta deal and this is the Fordo coffee shot so at Walgreens these are $2.99 regular price I threw this in just to make sure that my total was good and over $40 so these were $2.99 we have a $2.99 cash back rebate from Ibotta making that absolutely free and you know what? Something I did not think about when I was purchasing this, because I used this in the 30% off transaction, that um, Fordo coffee shot only rang up for $2.09. And after the $2.99 back that I got back from Ibotta, this is actually a 90 cent money maker because I did get the full value back from Ibotta already. 
These bare 100 count boxes, there was no coupon on these that I used, but they were on clearance for $1.89. The 30% off coupon did apply to these and it took off an additional $1.14 for both boxes. So each one of them came out to about $1.32 per box. These are the 100 count tablets, so $1.32 per box. Phenomenal deal from the regular price, so I definitely threw those in. If you don't want to throw in a clearance item like this one to get your total up to 30, then definitely look at the Palm Olive. That is a deal that I would have done if I didn't do this one instead. Okay, so now let's talk about the bounty. So the bounty was on sale two for eleven, and then we have a coupon in the Walgreens booklet that um, takes off two dollars off two of them. So that makes them two for nine. The 30% uh, off coupon did apply to these. It took off another two dollars and seventy cents which is awesome. Um, but then the kicker that came in is they came down even further when I got back this $2 back Catalina from um, Walgreens for purchasing the two P&G products. So they ended up being like $4 and some change for both packs. So $2 each for bounty paper towels, $2 each is amazing. And then the final deal that I did at Walgreens was the three for $9.99 12 packs. So all of the 12 packs are three for $9.99 again, which is a phenomenal price um, in itself. But we have some coupons and this, of course, this 30% off coupon makes it a much better deal. So if you want to do the Canada Dry Ginger Ale and Lemonade, those are definitely the best deal to do on this promotion because they're $3.33 with the sale the 30% off will take off another dollar off of that making them 233 I also used a 75 cent off one manufacturer coupon that I had printed some time ago from coupons.com um, and then I also redeemed a rebate for from Ibotta for a dollar back it comes out to like 50 cents roughly for the 12 pack of soda great deal on that. I didn't have any coupons on the Sunkiss, but thrown into this 30% off transaction, it still worked out very well. So let me show you how everything broke down. So here is my receipt. You can see the Bayer there with their clearance pricing and the additional 30% off discount. The Canada Dry is there. The Colgate products are there. You can see that 30% discount. And then you can also see the discount for the Fordo, um, which makes that a nice money maker. These are all the coupons that I use. The 30% off took off $12.24. My two uh, Canada Dry Manufacturer coupons, the $5 off for the Colgate. And then I also had a 25 cent off manufacturer coupon that was on my account for the Bounty. My subtotal came up to $21.74. I did redeem $5 in points. And so I think I paid like $18 out of pocket. And then I got back. 9,000 points for the Colgate. I also got back $8.99 from Ibotta. And then I, of course, got back $2 from the um, Bounty as well. So I got back almost $20. I got back $19.99. And again, my subtotal was $21.74. So got back $20 on a $21.74 total, making everything here approximately $1.74, y'all. $1.74. Y not bad at all. Gotta love Ibotta. So $1.74, I will take that. So now let's talk about CVS. Okay, so this is all that I picked up from CVS. Yes, not much. There just wasn't much that I could put together at CVS this week, but I did come out pretty good for the little items that I did pick up. So let me show you what I got. So the first deal I did was the Maybelline deal. I feel like I have been doing this Maybelline like for the past three weeks. I think I have been doing this Maybelline for the past three weeks. So you guys probably already know the breakdown by now, but this week they were buy two and get a $5 extra care buck. I had two $3 off one 
internet printable coupons on these and the baby lips is the best item to get they were four dollars and 79 cents in my store so you would pay a dollar and 79 cents for each one of them um, but then get back the equivalent of two dollars and fifty cents back at extra care bucks for each one of them making them an awesome money maker i actually wanted to get something a little bit different this week and so i picked up one of these baby skins they were a little bit more expensive at seven dollars and 49 cents use that three dollar off coupon that was 449 the baby lips was 179 then I got back the um, five dollars but I also had a 30% off cosmetics coupon that I knew was going to take off a little bit so they came out to just about free the next deal that I did was on the Physicians Formula, and this is the Eye Makeup Remover. So the Physicians Formula was actually spend 15, get back 10 this week. And these were $7.49. So my store does have the 98% rule, so that was just enough to make that $15 requirement. I had two $4 off one internet printable coupons that I used on these, made each one of them $3 and 49 cents so about seven dollars for two and then I got back ten dollars making them a three dollar money maker so since I had just made three dollars I knew I had a little bit of money to play with um, and so I decided to pick up these food items so the smart water was on sale for two for four dollars now this is not the regular smart water this is the um, anti accident oxidant and the alkaline smart water that is on sale two for four so if you buy a lot of alkaline water you know they can be pretty um, expensive we also have a buy one get one free coupon that you can load to your CVS account on the app or from the website so that made each one of them two for two um, or a dollar each which I thought was a pretty good price for one dollars each for the alkaline water and then for the Kellogg so these are on sale for a dollar and 99 cents I used my Kellogg's rewards I used 850 points to redeem for a one dollar coupon that I printed from the Kellogg's website and so I used that one dollar coupon on this cereal that was a dollar and 99 cents it made it 99 cents for the box so a dollar each for each one of those three items not bad at all alrighty so here is my receipt for CVS there's the smart water and the fruit loops there's the baby lips and the physician's formula those are all my manufacturer coupons that I used the dollar off for the um, Kellogg cereal, the two four dollar off for the physician's formula, the two three dollars off for the Maybelline, the two dollars off for the Smart Water. I also used ten dollars in extra care bucks and a three dollar beauty care buck, and then that is the forty percent off one item and thirty percent off cosmetics. My subtotal came up to two dollars and twenty six cents, um, and then I had a ninety four percent savings. Value. Let me see. And then I got back $5 for the Maybelline and $10 for my physician's formula. So I spent $13 in extra care bucks and got back $15 and $2 out of pocket. So this essentially was a free transaction after my extra care bucks. So I will take that all day for CVS. Even though it wasn't much, it was a free. So I will take $2 and getting it back and extra care bucks for that. So that is everything that I got from CVS and Walgreens this week. Let me know if you have any questions about any of that. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Please remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Bye you guys.